Still talking business, the Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, has reiterated its dedication to tackling humanitarian crises across the region by placing a strong emphasis on humanitarian actions to alleviate the effects of various challenges, including population displacement, climate change and natural disasters. Professor Fatou Sol Sara, the ECOWAS Commissioner on Human Development and Social Affairs, addressed the press in Abuja, emphasizing the department's commitment to supporting humanitarian efforts with significant resources to provide relief to affected populations. One notable example highlighted by the Commissioner is ECOWAS' recent response to crisis in Guinea, where the organization allocated nearly uh, $600,000 in humanitarian aid to address the urgent needs of affected communities. In the area of education and science, the program of the Directorate of Education and Science and Culture mainly has to do with young people. And we can mention the academic mobility program and professional training for young people in ECOWAS institutions, which from 2016 to 2024 has, re uh, has recorded 845 young people. Uh, there's a report, in fact, this is a 2023 report here, uh, and it's also accessible on humanitarian um, actions, everything we've done in terms of outcomes, etc. So, the issue on how the funds were allocated, I do have the details here on the 9 million. All countries received their allocation except Burkina, Mali, Niger, and um, you must understand, uh, on an ECOWAS point of view, these are countries that didn't take in the funding but you can um, take this uh, detail and perhaps take a photograph and keep a copy and then on the 10 million dollars also that we provided for the floods all countries that were allocated and dispersed received it and the information is here so you could have if you would like more information just so you know that we do keep account we do have our data and we do have our records and this is information that is available In addition to its humanitarian initiative, ECOWAS outlined youth programs aimed at investing in the development and promotion of youth-led initiatives to foster sustainable growth and social cohesion. Now, the Commissioner emphasized that these projects will focus on areas such as uh, sports, economic integration, education, entrepreneurship, and vocational training across various sectors. ECOWAS works to promote the spirit of volunteering in, amongst youth and engaging community citizens throughout the uh, region. In sports, the sports factors in integration through um, sports activities such as wrestling, uh, marathons and cycling. The support given to sporting federations amount to $100,000 a year. We also support uh, the Sports Association Union of the Hard of Hearing uh, and University Structures. In 2023, ECHO was initiated a cooperation with the People's Republic of China to support young people. In that regard, 12 entrepreneurial projects uh, were retained for young people in our region out of a hundred projects worldwide. We know that each country is specific and the uh, youth consists of poor um, rich people, some live in rural areas, others urban areas, that are, um, farmers, uh, herders and so on and so forth. We we'll try to take into account all these um, aspects. But we have invisible people, those in prisons, uh, children living in streets. We we'll try to ensure that uh, no category of young people um, will be uh, left at, uh, behind. But furthermore, ECHO has reviewed plans to convene a youth conference to address current challenges and opportunities facing young people in the sub-region.